Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through polynomials. In the last session, we learned the remainder theorem and its application. Today, let us study the factor theorem and its applications. Can you say the factors of six? Let's see. When six is divided by two, there is no remainder. Therefore, 2 is a factor of 6. Similarly, when 6 is divided by 3, then also remainder equals 0. Therefore, 3 is a factor of 6. Hence, 2 and 3 are factors of 6. Or, we can write 6 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3. Similarly, in the case of polynomials, if any polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by x minus a where a is any real number and if the remainder is 0 then x minus a is a factor of p of x this is actually factor theorem that is if any polynomial p of x of degree greater than or equal to 1 is divided by x minus a and if p of a equals 0 then x minus a is a factor of p of x conversely if x minus a is a factor of p of x then p of a equals 0 let us prove it if a polynomial p of x is divided by x minus a. Let q of x be quotient and r of x be remainder. Then by division algorithm, dividend equals divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder. That is p of x equal to g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x. Here, divisor g of x equals x minus a, and degree of r of x is less than the degree of divisor x minus a. We know that the degree of x minus a equals 1. Since degree of r of x is less than degree of divisor x minus a, the degree of r of x equals 0. Therefore, r of x can be taken as a constant r. Hence, p of x can be written as p of x equals x minus a multiplied by q of x plus r. But by the remainder theorem, r equals p of a. Therefore, p of x equals x minus a multiplied by q of x plus p of a If p of a equals 0, then p of x equals x minus a multiplied by q of x, which shows that x minus a is a factor of p of x. That is, if p of a equals 0, then x minus a is a factor of p of x. If x minus a is a factor of p of x, then p of x equals x minus a multiplied by q of x. In particular, if x equals a, we get p of a equals a minus a multiplied by q of a. p of a equals zero. That is, if x minus a is a factor of p of x, then p of a equals zero. Let us do one example. Check whether x minus 3 is a factor of p of x equals x square minus 5x plus 6. First, 
Let us find the remainder when p of x is divided by x minus 3. For that, find the zero of x minus 3. Put x minus 3 equals 0 implies that x equals 3. Now find p of 3. We have p of x equals x square minus 5x plus 6. p of 3 equals 3 square minus 5 multiplied by 3 plus 6 equals 9 minus 15 plus 6 equals 15 minus 15 equals 0. Since p of 3 is equal to 0, by factor theorem, x minus 3 is a factor of p of x. Let us do another example. Find the value of k if the polynomial p of x equals 2x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed plus 2kx square plus 3x plus 6 is exactly divisible by x plus 2. Since p of x is completely divisible by x plus 2, x plus 2 is a factor of p of x. Hence, by factor theorem, p of minus 2 equals 0. We have p of x equals 2x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed plus 2kx square plus 3x plus 6. Then p of minus 2 equals 0. This implies that 2 multiplied by minus 2 the whole raised to 4 plus 2 multiplied by minus 2 the whole cube plus 2k multiplied by minus 2 the whole square plus 3 multiplied by minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. Implies that 2 multiplied by 16 plus 2 multiplied by minus 8 plus 2k multiplied by 4, minus 6, plus 6 is equal to 0. Implies that 32 minus 16, plus 8k, minus 6, plus 6, equals 0. Implies that 16 plus 8k, equals 0. Implies that 8k equals minus 16. Therefore, k equals minus 16 by 8. That is, k equals minus 2. Let's recall what we discussed today. Today, we discussed factor theorem and how to apply factor theorem in a given problem. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. 1. Check whether 2t plus 1 is a factor of p of t equals 4t cubed plus 4t square minus t minus 1. 2. Find the value of k if p of x equals 2x cubed minus kx square plus 3x plus 10 is exactly divisible by x plus 2. That's all for now, see you all in the next class.